Hello everyone, today I'll be talking to you about sigil making. Sigil magic is a popular topic, and many folks want to know how to make a sigil, what a sigil is, how to charge a sigil, or how to create a sigil. Sigil magic is the process of creating a symbol or image to bring a desire to fruition through your subconscious mind. Incorporating sigil magic into your practice can take your spirituality to the next level. There are many different ways to create a sigil, which is lovely because you can customize a technique that works best for you. A sigil is a symbol or design you create that works with your unconscious self to help bring your goals and dreams into reality. Sigil magic enables you to focus and become clear with your intentions. The sigil itself does not contain magical abilities, but operates as the mode of transportation into your unconscious. Which is why you should always create your own sigils. Using sigils by, designed by someone else removes the connection and doesn't allow the sigil to be placed into your unconscious mind. When learning how sigils work, it's essential to understand you're trying to go around your conscious mind and connect with your unconscious mm -hmm. self. The conscious mind will put up barriers, skepticism, or place restrictions on your intentions, making it challenging to materialize your desires. However, if you can directly connect to your subconscious, your spiritual power isn't limited. No words are needed, and an intention-based symbol can communicate directly to your unconscious self. Sigils work by placing an idea into your subconscious and by doing so, will begin to work towards your intention while you go about your daily life. This visualization will prompt your subconscious self to start looking for ways it can help manifest your desire or goal. Once you've completed your sigil work, make it out of your mind and don't dwell on it. You want your sigil to leave your conscious mind and simmer in your unconscious mind. When creating a sigil, feel free to incorporate colors, personal symbols, or letters of your choice. Don't allow these types and techniques to limit you. Remember, there's no wrong way to create a sigil. Create what feels natural to you and let your intuition influence you. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make sigils because it's the easiest for me. But, like I said before, you can find out your own way to make a sigil, or just create one. There are all types of make it, making sigil ways that you can Google or create. So, here is the Pectular Brunette. It is when you line up numbers with, you, you know, the numbers that lead up to 9. Just like this graph here. So, I will be making a sigil for protection, and my affirmation is, I am safe and protected. What you have to do is line up all those letters in that affirmation to the number. So, my number would be 614116515479625. Two five three two five four. Now, of course, you can see that is way too many numbers. So, what you have to do is remove all the repeating numbers. So, instead of having that long number, I would just turn my number into that. So, what I did, as I said, I removed all the repeating numbers and I got 91465723. Next, I will place all the let numbers from 1 to 9 on a chart like this out of order. If it's in order, you can, I mean, if it's in order, you can, you, you know, it wouldn't make a difference. But I feel like it's better to place them out of order. But you can do whatever you want. So that's my number, just so you know. And what I'm going to do is graph it, going from number to number. So, how I graphed it 
and I put little circles from how I graphed it start to finish. I went from 9 up to 1, down to 4, over to 6, up to 5, over to 7, down to 2, and up to 3. I put it on a piece of paper so I can show you guys how it would look without the numbers and how to activate your sigil you can either fold it you can burn it you could bury it or you just hold it in your hand and focus all your energy into it and you know say and know that you are trying to activate the sigil uh, your craft is literally yours whatever you want to do it's it's yours Ex like especially if you're just a witch without you know not being in a religion but you can do whatever you want I know this has nothing to do with my presentation but for example if you're making a potion and you don't have the necessary items you could go outside and use nature I love doing that because you can really see how your potion is growing and affecting you. For example, if you make a potion for self-love out of some seeds and some dirt and you see the seeds start to sprout, that means it's good. If it dies, you should probably check that potion and put up some protection and wards. So after you finish making your sigil, it depends on what it is, you can put it literally everywhere. You could take the sigil and put it on your door. You could, like, sew it onto your backpack or something. Especially if, I, if it's, like, a self-love or a protection sigil, it would be really, really good for you to have it around because everyone needs self-love and protection. Thank you guys for watching my video. And... I am get turning a new leaf, kind of, I don't know how to, like, you know, say it, but I'm going to see if I can start putting my voice into these videos so you guys can feel a connection, even though I will not be showing my face, um, but yeah, and I just, I like this idea better than just putting in pictures with audio, because I feel like there's really no connection between me and my subscribers. So, thank you guys for watching my videos. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm working on making an Instagram and a TikTok that you guys can follow. But they're not up now. When they are, I will be putting them in the description and let you guys know. Bye!